all right guys well i've been out here 10 minutes didn't even get to do my intro or anything i was just kind of messing around with the swim bait caught one little fish which i'll show and then i fell and i think that left foot right there i think i broke my toe not not 100 percent. i mean it was bent all the way sideways on the other end but um my wife is uh messaging me saying you know if you can bend it or whatnot it's not black and blue or bruised it usually means it isn't broken so i don't know if i sprained it or what but i i don't know even know what happened i went to reach for something i fell almost went out of the boat i look up my toe i can feel the pain my toe was like say this is your foot and this is my toe it was like way over there all bent out of place and i don't know but it's killing me I'll have to make an appointment if it uh, if it gets any worse. I know it hurts to stand on, that's for sure. But I'm out here now, so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to make do, and hopefully we can catch some fish. I caught one little one pounder in the first ten minutes on a little swim bait. But I'm gonna throw a little Power Team lures conviction, not conviction craw. Um, crawl d'oeuvre it's a little it's a really good on a jig trailer but i want to throw it by itself and see if we can make anything happen but man that that toe is hurting bad we'll see how long i i can last that sucks i really hope it isn't broken i've never broken a bone in my life 27 years i haven't broken a bone Please don't let it be now. Cause that hurts bad. That hurts real bad. This sucks, this sucks. I don't even know how I fell either. <laughs> Not a clue. Don't even remember. <laughs> I just remember looking at my toe and I'm like, oh yeah, that's broke. But supposedly if it's not black and blue and you can bend it, it's not broken. I don't know. Let me catch a few fish before I can't stand it anymore to stand on. All right, guys. First fish on that you guys are seeing on the crowd curve. I gotta be really careful on this toe. It's coming some grass. It's a small mouth too. Man, it hurts to move. I grab my nut here. Man, that's a big Somali too. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you. Look how skinny he is though, but the crowd nerve right there. Beautiful fish. Two, four, five on the connect scale. Two, four, five. It's a, it's a nice little fish. Hey guys, 18 and a half inch Somali right there. Beautiful catch. I can't reach down and drop him in because my toe is hurting bad, so. Go on, buddy. There you go. There he goes back down. Oh. oh, thank you, fish. Thank you so much. Another smiley on. Ow, toe, ow. Oh my god, this is really hard to fish. Man, he's fighting hard too. Come on, buddy. I just want to land you here. Yeah. 
Thank you. Such a good little craw too. Really finessey. Just what these bass have been eating, little crawfish. You know, I see them spin them up all the time while fishing. They're spinning up little tiny claws of the crawfish. So, um, I thought I had those in my boat the past couple times I've been out, and um, I didn't. So I brought the uh, the tray that had those style baits today, just because I know they are eating really small crawfish. One six eight, not a giant by any means, but. He is a beautiful catch. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. Appreciate it. There's one. Large mouth this time. You guys are liking little crowd earth, huh? They're munching it. All right, see a one pound even, Steven. Appreciate you biting. Go get a pound heavier. Durability on this crawl, guys, extremely good, in my opinion. I actually got to retie here real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that fray right there, frayed up, but the durability on this thing is really good. And I'm fishing this thing. Fishing it really hard. And these smallmouth are chomping it. And we still got claws attached. We got no rips yet. So it's, it's a really good bait. Again, I've been fishing these, these baits for years, man. I want to say like... Man, I don't know, six years maybe, maybe even longer. A bait or a company I really believe in is Power Team Lures. I've never had a bad experience with their with their baits at all. But yeah, I do I do really like these products a lot. You can look back in my older older videos and you'll see a lot of fishing with these products here. And I still fish with them all the time, but I'm just been on my channel, I'm just trying to fish other stuff like all the time just just to try out different stuff. But if the fishing's tough or if I want to try to get some bites, looking for big fish, and now I can tie in one of their products and Hopefully have a decent day out there. All right, guys. I think I'm I'm gonna get off the water here for a little bit. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the doctor and check out that toe. I think it's uh it's really bothering me. And I mean, there's a red line. I mean, my toe is pure red. I mean, that's an indication it could be broken too. I really don't know if it's broke or not. I have no idea. I mean, it, it kills. It's burning. It's just hard to say if it's broke or not, but. It's super red and swollen, and there's a line, a red line running all the way across to the back of my heel. So I don't know. I don't know if it's sprained, broken, or what, but I think I'm gonna go. go I'm gonna go get it checked out because it's, it's it's actually hard to stand and fish. It's starting to bother me pretty badly. And then the control and trolling motor too. I don't have a recessed foot pedal, so I have to lift my foot up every time. And that's putting more weight on that foot and that toe, it hurts. So I think we're gonna go get that checked out and then uh, maybe come back out this evening. It just now hit 12 o'clock, so. Fishing usually slows down here around the 12, one o'clock range, normally. I mean, it's a nice overcast, or like cloudy overcast day. No rain or nothing, but we've been having rain for the past two weeks. But it's supposed to be like this all day, so maybe I'll come back in the evening. And uh, we'll just continue where I left off. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll be right back with you.